What do you think? About what? Gregory. Oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. It's a... Uh, ooh, nice threads, man. Yeah, yeah, like right there. Yeah, do you really like it? I mean, it's not, it's not too snug. Or I think it's fantastic, really. Right. What's the occasion? Is there a new girl in your life? Uh, huh? Well, there's a distinct possibility, uh, depending on the outcome of our date tonight. All right, go for it. All right, uh, another album. Oh, yeah, would you believe I've got all these photos left over? Greg, you and I are good friends, yes? Well, of course we are the best. Then is it okay if I make a suggestion? Oh, you think I'm going overboard, I take it. Well, I think you're being too hard on yourself, yes. And I have an idea that might help. Yes, a goose with all the trimmings. On one day's notice, Pomacorda. I want a celebratory dinner with all of my family tonight. What a poor wolf and had to eat all by himself last night. That was while I was sweating it out. But tonight, I want my grandson on my right, I want his mother on my left, and I want my beloved wife directly opposite me. Uh huh. Where does your beloved daughter fit into this scheme? I suppose she'll be with her husband, who is not a part of this family. So be off with you, Maya. You got your work cut out for you. Buy a goose. Yes, sire. Oh, Cynthia, come on in. We were just planning an official feast in your and Andrew's honor. Oh, nice. But I have one last little task to do, and that is to officially inform Ross that I have proven beyond a doubt that he is Andrew's father. Oh, to be a fly on the wall when that happens. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll give you a full report. See you later. I want to thank you very much for coming, Joanna. I wanted to speak with you anyway. Why? I'd rather hear what you have to say first. What I have to say is you better get Cynthia and that kid out of town. Now, I mean it. You did no favor to me by bringing them here. Ross, I have already told you that I... No, I know, I know, I know what you told me, Joanna. The fact is, you're the only person who could have sicked them on Palmer. Now, why would I do a thing like that? Oh, I don't know, Joanna. Paola? What? I don't know. I, I don't care. It's part of the past. The fact is, I want you to help back me get rid of them. I'm really not interested in talking about the nonsense of Cynthia and Andrew. Now, stop it, Joanna. You know that kid is not mine. I have far more important things to talk to you about, Ross. Adam is alive. He's here, in Pine Valley. Mike! They're right where you are. Oh, no. What do you want? Adam Chandler is what I want. Now, where the hell is he, huh? Please don't point that gun at me. You better get that low life right in here before I have to use this gun on you. You let that run. <gasps> People are going to wonder why I don't answer it. All right, all right, you answer that phone, huh? One false move and you are dead. Hello? Hello, Erica. It's Ross. Is it true? Is it true that Adam's alive? Yes. How did you hear about that? Oh, wait, is he, uh, he's being kidnapped and he's being held for ransom? Ross, I'll have to get back to you a little bit later. I'm, I'm, I'm tied up right now. asking you one more time. Where's Chandler? I don't know where he is. Now don't mess with me, little lady. I've had a really bad day and I ain't in no mood for games. Now you better tell me right now, where is that feminist skunk of hiding? Uh, look, man, I know it's a little late, um, but I think uh, I'll get a kick out of it. Oh, he'll think it's terrific. Thank you. 
Zach, is something wrong? <laughs> You're beginning to really pick up, aren't you? What is it? Well, I've been feeling real strange about the money I took from you, and uh, I've decided I'm... I'm going to return it to you. Oh, but Zach, no, we agreed. I'm not giving you some money. It's a contribution to a worthwhile cause. Nina, you could get hurt if it gets out that you're contributing to my work. Zach, I wouldn't have written the check if I didn't believe in what you're doing. I want to get involved. I believe psychic energy can heal, and I want to see that proven through scientific research. And you're also married to a man who is a total disbeliever. His feelings have nothing to do with my feelings in this case. Nina, you have enough problems. I don't want to add to them. You're afraid Cliff's going to find out. Is that the problem? Yes, I am. And if Cliff sees who this check is made out to and how much it's worth and what it's for, he's going to go through the roof. Zach, he's never going to know. Look, this is my personal check. He'll never see that. Now, I insist you keep it. Thank you. I, uh, I appreciate your faith in me. I appreciate your concern about Cliff, but he's obviously never going to change. He's far too narrow-minded. No, no, no. Don't be too hard on Cliff. No, he's, uh, he's a product of medical conditioning. Every doctor I know has the exact same attitude. They, want, they don't want a guy like me trespassing on their turf. You know? <laughs> Doctors can be so childish sometimes. Ah, but everybody has not progressed to the point you have. Well, I have the best of teachers. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Zach. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Cortland. What a surprise. Um... Thought you were raking leaves. Well, I was just... I was, but I decided to stop by and leave a pumpkin for Bobby. Now I'm going back to rake leaves. Good. See you, Nina. Bye, Zach. Man's a creep. <laughs> I think I've heard you say that once or twice before. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the pumpkin, Halloween is over. I think it was nice of him to bring it over. I just wish he wasn't lurking around you all the time. Well, I hope this is enough material for a half hour. Oh, it's more than enough. Now, just hold still. Okay. <clears throat> There's a sucker born every minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. Stop. Ah, don't jump up and down. And judging from the millions of dollars squandered every year on miracle drugs that are no more miraculous than sugar pills, it would seem that P.T. Barnum was right. Oh, oh yeah, I'll fix get it. that, I'll fix get that. It. Okay. Look, what do you think? It does look better with this suit, doesn't it? Yeah. Thanks. You look so good. You really think so? Oh, admit it, you handsome devil. Well, I gotta admit, clothes do make the man. Yeah, well, I think in this case, you make the clothes. Well, I wish everyone out in TV land was as easy to please as you are. I think you're gonna have him eating out of your hand. How much time we got left? Uh, uh, 15 minutes till oh rehearsal my. and tape time is at 6. Okay. Uh, oh. uh, then let's get started. You got your stopwatch? Yes, I'm ready, okay? And okay. kid. There's a sucker born every minute. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 that, yeah. Oh, I'm not interrupting, is that right? Joe, no, no, come Hi, on. Hi, Dr. Then. Martin. Oh, that's it. Great. Listen, don't you look sharp? Oh, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Uh, this is from Lacey's, and uh, they get the credit, I get the clothes. Very nice. Listen, I'm glad you came by. Liza and I have this terrific idea, and we kind of want to get your opinion on it. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Yes, no, I understand, Sergeant. Yeah, really, I appreciate everything you've done. Right. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Adam's all right? Yeah, it seems that that woman that was hiding out with Tuggle, she helped him escape. Well, no, he's going through some kind of a debriefing or something. <sighs> Adam's luck never runs out. Oh, come on, Joanna, you didn't want him to die in that crash, did you? Ross, how can you say such a thing? I've, I've never wanted Adam dead. I mean, this is fantastic. This is incredible. I mean, he's alive. I mean, he's alive. I'm not going to stand here. I'm just getting out of here. I'm going down there right now. I'll find out at the police station. How can you say such a thing? I've, I've never wanted Adam dead. I mean, this is fantastic. No, this is incredible. I mean, he's alive. I mean, he's alive. I'm not going to stand here. I'm just getting out of here. I'm going down there right now. I'll find out at the police station. What the hell are you doing here? Please put that gun down, please. Please, there's no one here. No one can hurt you. I certainly can't hurt you. You freeze. I just want to find out how Mike is. He'll live. But neither y'all live very long unless you tell me where that snake in the grass husband of yours is. You're the man on the phone. You kidnapped Adam. 
Lady, that is history. Right now I'm looking for him. I know damn well he's hiding around here someplace. No, he's not here. He's not here. I swear to you he's not here. The last I heard he was with you. Well, I'm looking for him right now. <laughs> he got away from me. Well, I don't know where he went. I, the, the, what do you want from me? I put the money in the trash can just the way you asked me to. Well, I want more from you. I want to know where your lying, conniving husband is. And I want revenge on that dirty, double-crossing female I give my heart and my soul to. That's what I want. You had him got away. Yeah. Yeah, he sweet-talked that dirty, double-crossing wench into letting him go right scot-free. Well, what about the two million dollars? You got it. You turn right, I got it. But I got home, and I find that them two had just split the scene, had become powder, and the police was buzzing around my face like, like flies to a dung heap. And that, that dirt old suitcase you give me, it just busticated, and them two million dollars were when it, scattering around into the wind like, like chicken feed, but... I see. Well, you need money, then. You need money to get away. Now you are getting the picture, so you just hand it right over. Oh, yes. Here, I'll give you all the money I have in my purse. You yeah. see that? Oh, maybe there's money in the safe, too. I could look for the money in the safe. Uh, way ahead of you, little lady. Mike! You're looking for trouble, baby. You sure as hell want to get it from me. you mean well but i'm okay really gregory look even i get choked up every time i come into this room i can imagine what it must be like for you look i'm not saying it's easy okay but but this is where i live with jenny and this is where all my memories are jenny was the one who told you to go on with your life i remember? am going on with my life alfred i'm, I'm working now i'm mm -hmm. going to school what, what else what else i'll tell you you spend the rest of your time in here in this room looking at these pictures and all these memories of jenny Gregory, it's not healthy for you to be burying yourself in the past like well, this. Well, I am sure not going to go back and live with my mother, Alfred. Ah, <laughs> Forget ah, that. Mm -hmm. right no, away. all right. Well, well, here's my idea. How about moving back in with me? Well, I, well, yeah, I appreciate that, Alfred. No, I really appreciate that. I really do. But my life isn't as bad as, as you may think it is. I'm not brooding over Jenny. I, I'm remembering all the good times we had together. That's what keeps me going. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been a Budinsky. You're not a Budinsky. You're a good friend of mine, okay? It's just that I can't, I can't toss aside what we had, you know? Mm. Those are the happiest days of my life. Excuse me. Sure. Bye. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Let me take this. Yeah, sure. All right. Heavy stuff, huh? Yeah. Okay. You asked for it, you got it. Uh, 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 Sheila Thomas, Alfred Vanderpool. Hi, Alfred. Hi, Sheila. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, we sort of met that night at the talent show. You, uh, you did a great job as MC. Yes, I know. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hey, let me take your, uh, your coat. Oh, sure. <clears throat> it's a bit nippy out there. Yeah? Yeah. I got a red nose. I knew it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> a guest shot. Yeah. Totally informal. Yeah, any subject you want to talk about. Oh, I don't know. Public appearances give me a small case of palpitations. Oh, come on, here. Joe, come on. I've seen you at medical conferences. You'd be a whiz at something like that. Yeah, sure, but that's in front of doctors. This is different. Joe, honestly, I think you'd have a lot of fun. This show means a lot to you, doesn't it? Well, Nina and Linda seem to think that my head size is growing by the day, uh -huh. but they have no idea what it's like to have this kind of an impact on everyone's lives. You don't get the same rewards from surgery? No. Look, I don't know how to explain it, but when this red light comes on, you know you've got thousands of people out there listening to you, listening to what you say. It really feels great. It sounds addictive. Joe, I've gotten letters from people whose lives were saved by my demonstration of the Heimlich maneuver. Yes, I heard about that. We, we, did, a, we did a story the other day on diagnosing diabetes. The phone lines were tied up for hours. Mm -hmm. Powerful stuff. What's your favorite charity? Uh, what? No, tell me right now, what's your favorite charity? Well, right now, uh, the crippled children's wing at the hospital. Okay, I'll see to it that you're paid real well for this segment, and if you don't feel good about it, you can give the money to them. <laughs> 
good thing you're not an insurance salesman. You're too persuasive for your well, own you good. Well, you do it. All right, yes, yes. All great, right. great. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Oh, listen, I didn't ask you. How did that thing work out with Pete Jessup? No, it worked out fine, yeah. It's particularly after you talked to his patient. Oh, good. I'm glad it helped. Yeah. Listen, Cliff, um, when we talked before, I was thinking in terms of your show being five minutes, but uh, now that you're going to be doing a 30-minute show... Joe, I promise you this wouldn't get in the way of my hospital work. I'll keep that promise. Well, it's you I'm thinking of. You... Don't think you're spreading yourself a little thin? Well, listen, Joe, Liza's doing most of the work. Really, she does the research, she does most of the writing. I come in and check out what she's done, and then I tape the show. Mm. Real Girl Friday, huh? Oh, she's the best. She's the best. I wouldn't even try this without her. Cliff, I hate to interrupt, but it's time for rehearsal. Oh, my gosh, she's... Uh, no. Don't mind my walking out. Go I'm right sorry. ahead. Do you want to come and watch? Yeah, no, watch no, no, thank you. I have to go back to the hospital. No. Thank you, though. Some other time. Okay. Come on, Mr. DeMille. Good. Thanks, Joe. Hmm. And once I gained access to the record room, it was a simple matter of getting into your medical file. Oh, um, you have got one colossal nerve. Listen, when I want something, I get it. Sure. But you know what you did wasn't legal. You know that, don't you? What are you going to do? Sue me? No, sue you? I'm calling the hospital. I'm getting in touch with the right people, and I'm telling them that you messed with my medical record. So what? I got what I wanted, and that's proof positive that you are Andrew's father. Proof? Why? You haven't proved a thing. Blood will tell. Your blood is compatible with Andrew's. Chase Preston's is not. Try to hold that up in court. You're intent on a lawsuit, aren't you? I'm telling you, that kid's not mine. Look, nobody could have tampered with Andrew's blood test. Oh, wait a minute. Palmer, you underestimate a very dangerous woman. No, no, I ordered the blood test, and I was there when the blood was drawn, and the results were sent directly to me. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, you just let me in on a little secret. Was it Cynthia who got Chase Preston's blood type, too? Yes, she called the hospital in Chicago and requested that information, but I requested that the information be sent directly to me. What do you, you see, you cannot refute those facts. What? Are you trying to make me laugh? I mean, the woman put one over on you. I don't know how she did it, but she did. Sometimes I doubt that my blood is in your veins. Yes. Well, I wish it weren't. Is that why you deny Andrew in revenge against me? Palmer, I've always hated you. Most of my life. It hasn't changed now. Why take it out on Andrew? Because I'm telling you that kid is not my son. He is as much your son as I am your father. Fine. You want to believe that? You go right ahead and do. No, I pity you. You pity me? You can save that for yourself, Palmer. I used to be sorry for you with Cynthia, but I promise you one thing, you two deserve each other. You mean you know? I was there this morning when Father decided to break the news to Cynthia. Oh. I guess she just fell in his arms. Oh, no. She reacted with remarkable aplomb. She listened to his apology, and then she deigned to give her forgiveness. It's really depressing, isn't it? Your father's already spending so much time in that rotten little Andrew. I always feel like I'm left out in the cold. You're not the only one. He just brushed right past me this morning and welcomed little Prince Andrew with open arms. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I know that must have hurt you. Well, it's not the first time, and I suspect it's not going to be the last. Come on. Come on, you've got Cliff. You can lean and support on him and... I don't know. Your father spends so much time with Andrew, it's really clear now he doesn't give a damn about me. Do you know that even Mama has turned on me? You know, I've been getting so wrapped up in how all this is affecting me. I've been losing sight of how much you're being hurt. You're my mother. I give a damn about you. Thanks. You're my mother. I give a damn about you. Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm supposed to be the stripper. <laughs> oh, I'm not my little girl. Well, I wouldn't mind a little bit of strength. Can't rely on father anymore. Can't rely on Cliff. What? The two of you are quarreling? Oh, no. Only whenever we happen to run into each other. What about? About the power of the mind, as opposed to the power of the doctor. He just does not respect my opinions about anything. Well, uh, wait a minute. Maybe it's just Zach he doesn't respect. Honey, that creepy Zach has been hanging around here an awful lot. Now Cliff must have noticed that. 
I wish he had been so alert as to notice something like that. The truth is, Cliff is just completely wrapped up in being Mr. Big TV personality to notice anything that Bobby or me. He up to. is? He's doing that? Yes, he is doing that. Oh, honey. Oh, come on. You just have to think of something and get his attention back on you. I have to think of something. Yes, you do. Oh, great. For one reason. Mainly because your father isn't paying any attention to you or to me anymore. You need Cliff more than ever. You need his love and his support. I do. But I'm not going to beg him for it. No, 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 you don't have to beg him. You just... Well, for one thing, you could make sure that that Zach doesn't show up here so often, you know? And you could pay more attention to Cliff, and that way Cliff would not get the wrong idea. I think the only person here who's getting the wrong idea about Zach is my mother. Now, Zach is one of the few people right now who's being very supportive of me, much more so than my husband. Watch it. Your tea, Mrs. Preston. Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Murdoch. Mm -hmm. Very sweet of you. I have some scones here, warm from the oven. You are definitely a master of the culinary arts. Thank you. Not at the moment, thank you. I got more wood for this afternoon. More wood? Oh, yes. What? Oh, yes. Uh, crackly fire always raises one's spirits. This will that be all, Mrs. Preston? Definitely. Thank you, Mrs. M. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mrs. Murdoch, you make the best German chocolate cake I've ever had. I'm glad you enjoy it. I hope you don't mind me scarfing this last piece. Actually, I've come to expect it. <laughs> Where's Gramps? <gasps> he is off to, um, that is good news from Ross's face. <laughs> I wish I could be there to see that. Boy, so do I. Well, all is well. All we have to do is sit back and enjoy. Well, don't you think we ought to have some sort of a game plan, Mother? We will. We got over the first hurdle. I think the rest are going to be easy. I'm going to hand it to you. I still don't know how you switched Dad's blood type on Palmer. Well, we lucked out. Ross's blood type being compatible with yours was really a break. I told you you'd come through, Mother. Why we were too close to the prize not to. Mm. Well, the old man's really snowed. I mean, I just snap my fingers and he jumps. The car, the horse, only the beginning. I think what I'd like to get next is a big chunk of stock in Cortland Electronics. It is practically yours now that he's so convinced you're Ross's son. You know, Ross isn't going to take this sitting down. Well, Ross can yell until he's blue in the face. But he's not going to be able to prove the fact that I had anything to do with tampering those hospital records. I'll eat to that. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is he? Why don't we get him? Well, maybe he's not coming here. <laughs> Lady, there ain't nothing in this world that man wanted more than to get into the arms of his loving wife. <laughs> don't you, Dad? <laughs> Look, it's dangerous for you to stay here. You can't stay here the whole time because, I mean, it's dangerous for all of us. If you don't shut your yap, I'll put both of you all right out of your misery, hmm? But Man. there's a plane waiting for you to take off and take you Never mind about to. that plane. What am I going to use for money, huh? Well, I'll mail you another two million in cash. Tell me where to mail it. Anywhere, just <laughs> on a post office box, somewhere. Oh, dear. <laughs> you do got scramble eggs in your head. Don't drown. <laughs> Look, I'll, 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 I'll mail them anywhere to you. I, I swear oh, I yes, will. I will. Sure, and you're going to send me a, a Christmas card once a year, too. Huh? Ain't you? Huh? What do you think I am? A dodo? Huh? But the plane. The plane. Never mind that plane. Feel the crawl of police right now, anyhow. No, they don't know that you... They don't know anything about it. What? You think that... Big Mouth Channel ain't down there right now yapping out the whole scam? Huh? How do you think they knew all about the trailer? Uh, get down there, them. Commanders just be bleeding to peg me. Well, what if they come here to look for you? Let them come here. They ain't never, ever taken me alive. 
If I have to, I'll use you for a shield. What? Oh, I'm very glad Douglas, you did it again. Yes, sir. I mean, what am I doing here messing around waiting for Mr. Chandler when I can use no, his no, wife no, as a shield? No, huh? No, huh? Shut no, up! You shut your mouth up. Look, take your hands off of her! No! Oh. 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 I'm gonna get you, Joel. So help me, I'm gonna get you and murderize you. Oh, this is great. Cecil Beaton and Edward Steichen? Oh, man. Famous dance photos by the masters. Oh, look at this one of Fontaine. This is beautiful. Mm. I don't know which book would be of more help, so I brought them both. Oh, yes. What about the other one? This is a basic text on the aesthetics of dance. You know, movement, flow, all that what stuff. What is this all for, Gregory? This is to give me a better idea of how to adjust to theatrical photography, Alfred. Yeah, especially in dance. It's a little tricky with all the various moves and such. Mm. Uh, you are the official uh, theater art photographer? I certainly wow. hope so. The last shoot was terrific. I really do enjoy it. Mm. You know, and he's really been a big help to us. I can't tell you, he's been great. Well, you guys have been great, too. I mean, you never wanted to get up tight with me in your way. Well, you never got in the way. Oh, gosh, I love this one. Jenny used to do that. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, flick her hair back like that. Have we got in her way just like mine does? And here's my man. Mikhail Brushnikov. <laughs> I think it went pretty well. What do you oh, think, right. Donna? Oh, yeah. Hi. It was perfect. We should have taped it. I wish we could have taped that. Oh, oh, get that jacket off. Now you know that John will throw a fit if it's wrinkled John. before taping. Hawkeyes, John. I don't think that guy likes it. <laughs> Sorry, am oh. I interrupting? Hi, Mom. Come oh, on no. in. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Hi. Colby. Hello. Uh, well, you missed the rehearsal. Did it go well? Oh, it was fabulous. Great. Really. Hit. Oh, you know what? I just forgot something. What? But I've got to give the changes to the prompter. Oh, no, I'll take care no, of that. No, no, I got it. You visit with your mother. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Pardon me. Isn't he something? Yes, darling, he is. Oh, oh, Mother, what's up? Well, uh, I got some good news. I finally sold the Durant house. Oh, Mother, that is great. You have been nursing them along for weeks. I certainly have. So I came by to pay back the money that I owe you. Now, there's no hurry on that. Well, there is. On my side, anyway. Uh, darling, um, remember that mystery man that you brought up last week? Yes. Could that, uh, mystery man be Dr. Warner? Oh, no, Mother, whatever gives you that idea? I don't know. I just felt vibrations in the room when I came in. Well, actually, it is. Now, look, darling, um, you've got very good taste. But there's one slight drawback. The man's married. As you say, very slight. You just wait, Mother. Cliff is going to be mine. Has he been making overtures toward you or anything? Not exactly, but he's going to. He's very interested. Now, Liza, you are young, you're beautiful, you've got your life ahead of you. you I may be young, but I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. 
Now, an affair is not the same as a marriage proposal. Oh, he's going to propose. And he's also married to a Cortland. They are very dangerous people to make enemies out of her. They don't worry me. You know, their marriage is on very shaky ground. Uh, why do you say that? It's just a matter of time. I mean, why do you say that? Well, uh, they fight all the time. And I know for a fact that they didn't sleep together last night. Cliff told you that? No, but... Well, I have my ways of finding these things out. Well, just because two people don't sleep together for one night doesn't mean the marriage is over. It does in this case. I think you're letting your imagination run a little wild. Mother, you just... Oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry. Nina, you know my mother. Well, yes, of course. How are you, Mrs. Cole? Yes, how do you do? It's good to see you again. Yes, and you too. I'm looking for my husband. Is he here? No. Cliff had to step out. Uh, I'm not sure when he'll be back. Oh, I see. Well, could I leave him a note? Oh, yes. You uh, have some? Yes, come over here and use the desk. Thank you. Well, I'll uh, just give you that money, darling, and then I'll run along. And uh, thanks again. Oh, any time. And uh, good luck uh, with the show. Keep your fingers crossed. I will. And you be careful. You really don't approve of me, do you, Alfred? <laughs> Why would you think that? Just the vibes I'm getting. I don't disapprove of you, Jenny. It's just, uh, Sheila, I'm sorry, Sheila. It's just your incredible resemblance to Jenny. I, I'm afraid I can't get used to it. I'm sorry. Well, nothing to be sorry about. It's my problem. I'll deal with it. But I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. It's okay. So, um, what time shall we schedule the shoot for tomorrow? Uh, rehearsal starts about 2. Okay, if I show up then? Fine, whenever's good for you. Good. In the meantime, I'm going to cram up on these books you loaned me and develop some incredibly creative, fantastic, and wonderful ideas about shots and angles, etc. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh -huh. You've been doing great so far. Listen, I've really got to run. Uh -huh. It was really good meeting you, Alfred. Sheila, sure, it was. Very nice meeting you. And, uh, great, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be there. Bye-bye. That's amazing. Yeah. She even acts a lot like Jenny. Huh. Yeah, but she's not Jenny. Alfred, I know that. Now, what is this? Uh, well, it's, it's just that you, you're acting so mesmerized by her. I think she happens to be an interesting, creative person, and that's it. I'm not doing a number on myself, if that's what you think. You female Judas. You are roast in hell for what you've done to me. Who is she? I'll give you the best part of myself. I'll give you my heart. I want you turned on me like a cobra. Shut up. Just shut up. You shut up, Mr. Adam Chandler. I set you free. You gotta let me explain myself. I didn't turn on you, Billy boy. You shorn my locks. You chained me to a pillow. Now, now you come back here to spit right in my eye. No, no, it's not like that. I had to do it. I was just so scared of getting caught, Billy. Well, what do you call what's happening right now, huh? This man holding my own gun on me. No, I was just afraid. I was afraid you would kill him and we would hang for sure for that, Billy, you know. You made me lose all that money. Oh, you are trash. You are a tramp. And you damn near got me killed. Them, them police at that, that trailer waiting on me. Oh, you will pay for this jewel, I swear. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to come after you with a skin and knife. I did it to save your life, Billy. I love you. You love me. You love me like a cobra loves a mongoose. You love me. Give me all of your sweetness. All of your sweetness. And going that deep behind my back, making deals with him. I didn't turn against you like that, Billy. I just couldn't imagine murdering an innocent man. That's all. What do you think this innocent man is doing to no, me right gonna now? I'm going to end this way, Billy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why I came here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to... Go. 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 Go ahead now, Mr. Chandler. You want to use that? You're going to have to puncturate this little lady. You let her go. Go, oh. Tuggle. Oh. Oh. Let me go. Oh. Stop. No. Stop. 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 St
Let her go. Go, Ben. Adios. I'll send you a postcard from Ecuador. No, let him go. Don't just shoot him. No. I hear you went back and gave Abu another run. Well, I can't seem to get enough of him, sir. You know, I think you got your love of horses from me. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't be surprised. Where's your mother? Uh, I don't know. She went out. She didn't really say where she was going. You know, I'm, I'm really very sorry for all the unpleasantness I put you both through, but I, I hope you feel as I do that it was well worth it. And I do. I do. I, I don't think I could be happy without knowing that it was all settled in your mind. Good. Good. Well, now that that's behind us, yes. I, think, I think we ought to start making some plans for your holiday break. What have you got in mind? Well, have you been to the Andes? No, but I've always wanted to. Now, don't say that just to please me. No, I'm not saying it just to please you. I, I, I've really been fascinated by the Inca civilization. I think I've read just about anything I could get my hands on about it. You're familiar with Machu Picchu? Sure, the lost city. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that was discovered around 1911 by Hiram Bingham. Uh, right, huh? right. You're an aficionado. Have you been there, Grandfather? No. No, I've always wanted to go, but I, I've never found anybody to share that interest with me until now. Oh, well, that would be great. Yeah. The two of us just tromping around through those ruins and looking at all those lost treasures. That sounds really all right. That sounds great. Then we'll do it. Just the two of us. Fantastic. We're going to have some good times together, Andrew. I'm looking forward to it, Grandfather. Well, when it comes to my grandson, I'm really a lucky man. No, sir, I think I'm the lucky one. I gotta get out of here. Have the business meeting. Right. I'll see you at dinner. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe you'll buy me the Golden Temple. <laughs> ah, hello there, Andrew. Zach, how you doing? I couldn't be any better. Tell me something. Are you riding this afternoon? You are some magnificent horse. Well, I've been riding since I was a kid, you know. Uh, it shows you handled that horse. Just beautifully. Oh, well, he's a beautiful mount. Uh, listen, could you do me a favor? When your mother gets back, could you tell her to get in touch with me? By what? Ah, uh, it's a private matter I'd like to discuss with her. But do tell her. It is important. Oh, come on. You got me really curious now. Andrew, just give her the message. Sure. Thanks. I'm going to be down at the stables if anybody's looking for me. Hi, old Silver. Cliff, please help me forget how horribly lonely a night all alone on the sofa can be when you come home to my arms tonight. Help me forget our harsh words yesterday by joining me in a candlelit dinner for two tonight. All I really want is a lovely, romantic evening with the man I love. Call me. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Love, Nina. He left here a few minutes ago. I, I fired a couple of shots at him. I, I don't know if I hit him or not. <laughs> well, of course he's unarmed. I have his gun. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll be here if you need me. Oh, wait a minute, Adam. We what? have a new unlisted phone number. Wait a minute. You better write this down. The phone number's unlisted. It's 555-1754. Yes, good luck. They're cordoning off the whole green. Oh, dear. If he ever finds me, I'm just never going to live to see another day. The police will give you protection until you get out of town. Out of town? Yes, with all the money I'm giving you, you can live wherever you want. But I like it in Pine Valley. Fine. Well, you can come back after he's caught. Well, I hope it's very soon I have my girlfriends here in my trailer park. For heaven's sakes, will you stop whining? Erica, ow! Oh, I'm sorry. My head. I'm sorry. I don't need a doctor or anything. I just need some peace and quiet. 
Yes, well, who doesn't? I'll be out of your way just as soon as your hubby and I finish some business. Oh, yes, Erica, where's my check? No. By the desk. That's a lot. That's two L with two L's, okay? Yes, two L's, two L's with two L's. Man is scale, co M A N I S C A L C O. Mike, when I saw you lying there, I just. I thought it killed you. As a matter of fact, if Adam hadn't come in, then you know we might both be dead. Adam saved my life, actually. If I think about it, Adam saved my life. That's a happy thought. Well, it's true. That guy was going to use me as a shield all the way to the airport, and Adam came in and Adam saved my life. Yeah, well, later for that, Erica. We'll give him a medal, all right? There, that's it. Thank you. Ah, that's... Yes, that's, I'm sure that's your, uh, your uh, escort, your police right. escort. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yes, Jewel, you did the right thing. Thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Chandler. Mrs. Roy. Goodbye. Bye. Everyone asked you how you were doing. I'm, I'm fine. I really am fine. I'm going to beat your hands off my wife. Oh, don't start on me, Chandler. Now you listen to me. You shut up and listen to me. We're going to get this straightened out right now. No, I do not want any more talking about this now. That's it. What I want is quiet. I want complete quiet. Erica, how could you do this? How could you do it? How could you marry this fake the moment I was dead? Because she loves me, oh, that's why. Nonsense. You moved in on her. You started working on her. She... Hated every minute she spent with you, Chandler. Let's face it, she would have left you anyway. I'd like to hear my wife say that. She's not your wife. She's my wife, Oh, buddy. stop it, both of you. Just stop it. I can't bear to hear any more talking about this, okay? I can't stand it. Fine, fine. Come on, darling, let's go. Just you take your hands off her. Cute, please, both of you. Stop it. Just leave me alone. I am not in the mood for either one of you to be around me right now. Do you understand that? Both of you, you leave me alone. <laughs> 